what is going on there youtube and welcome back to another comic book video this is the channel where we sit down and cover different kinds of comic book stories from marvel dc and even idw as well except this time we are going to jump back over to marvel comics and this time we are going to cover another carnage story except we are going to cover Venom versus Carnage, where in this book we get the first appearance of the son of Carnage, which of course is Toxin. Toxin was supposed to be a new character that Marvel introduced, hoping that he will be really popular in comics. Toxin is more powerful than Carnage, or he was in this story. And so he was supposed to be a powerful threat in comics for Venom and Carnage and other symbiotes as well. But if you like today's comic book video, please leave me a like down below and subscribe to the channel. But I do hope you enjoy today's video. To begin this story, we pick up with Venom and Carnage fighting against each other. But we learn right off the bat that the Carnage symbiote is pregnant and it's about to give birth to a new symbiote. Now Venom wants to keep the new symbiote around because this will be the 100,000 symbiote. And so this symbiote will be more powerful than both Venom and Carnage. Except Carnage doesn't want anything to do with his offspring. He wants to actually kill the new symbiote right after it is born. Because this symbiote could come back and kill him and Venom. And you have Carnage throw Venom across the city. And then you have Carnage run off and try to get ready to figure out how to kill the new symbiote. We then pick up with this random blonde lady. And we will learn who she is later on. Except we learn that she's here at this art museum to steal a random art piece. Where honestly, this seems like something random to throw into the story. But right when she is talking to the guy she is trying to steal the art piece from, well part of the building blows up. Of course, this leads to the police arriving at the scene to figure out why this part of the building exploded. Where we learn why, because Carnage went down underground and tried to smother his offspring, and somehow it caused an explosion. But this is where we see Carnage planting the new symbiote on the officer. Carnage leaves because he needs to recover. He is too weak to kill the new symbiote for now. Now getting back to Venom, we see him sensing that his grandson is born and now his goal is to find the new symbiote, to protect the new symbiote before Carnage is able to regain his strength and come back to kill the new symbiote. Except the story shifts over to the officer we saw earlier, where we learn that his name is Pat Mulligan, who is the officer that Carnage planted the new symbiote on, where we learn that Pat is trying to take care of his pregnant wife. Now while he is taking care of his wife, of course that is when Venom arrives to get the new symbiote. Now remember, Venom is not completely bad, he only wants to kill bad people and well Spider-Man. By the way, this is Eddie Brock Venom, but you have Venom learn that Pat's wife is pregnant and wants to know what it's like to have a bond with the child. Because remember, Venom and Carnage do not have a bond at all. Except this leads to Spider-Man appearing to stop Venom because to Spider-Man, Venom must have came here to kill Pat. And so this begins your usual Spider-Man and Venom battle. We have seen so many times. And this is where you have Venom tell Spider-Man that hey, Carnage just gave birth to a new symbiote. Which means there is now another symbiote on Earth. Except this one is stronger than the others. And so Spider-Man could have another problem on his hands. Getting back over to Pat and his wife as they are trying to run away from all this madness, you have them debate which way down they should go, stairs or elevator. But when they turn around the corner, they run into Carnage, who is fully healed up and came back to kill his offspring. And so Carnage throws Pat's wife down the stairs, except she is lucky that after Carnage did that and took Pat with him, we see that Spider-Man was able to get away from Venom and get here just in time to save her before she fell to her death. And so she is safe, but she tells Spider-Man that the baby is on the way now. But getting back over to Carnage, who took Pat as a hostage, is now getting ready to kill Pat and his offspring. 
Now, Pat is able to get away from Carnage, really by rolling away from Carnage. The problem is that with him rolling away, he rolled off the rooftop and now he is hanging for his life. Now, while he is hanging for his life, you also have the story picked up with Black Cat, who is handing over the art piece that was stolen earlier. Now, remember, the blonde lady from earlier, that was her in disguise. She stole the art piece for this guy who it was stolen from. Now, while she is talking to him about payment, that is when you have Black Cat hear the screams of Pat and seeing Carnage slowly crawling over to kill Pat. This leads to Black Cat trying to stop Carnage from killing Pat. But listen here, Black Cat knows and we know that she cannot really stop Carnage. And so her goal is to somehow save Pat's life at the same time, get away from Carnage, hoping to lose him by just running away. But we know Carnage is not someone you can just run away from so easily. And so we see Carnage being able to capture Black Cat and this does look like she's going to die alongside with Pat by the hands of Carnage. Except you have Venom reappear to take on Carnage. And honestly, this is just another fight between the two where you have them battling it out because their goals are so different. But while Venom and Carnage fight against each other, you have Black Cat take Pat away from the fight to get him to safety. And you have this fight get wrapped up because Venom put Carnage in front of a train, where of course the train runs him over. But of course, Carnage is not dead at all. Where we pick up with Pat checking up on his wife the next day in the hospital since she did give birth to their son. And so he goes there to see his son as well. Now outside you have Venom watching over Pat and deciding he is going to protect both the new symbiote and Pat until the symbiote is able to defend itself. And Carnage, well he is hiding underground until he heals up again but also wanting for Venom to stop watching over Pat so he can kill Pat. And Spider-Man is just around web slinging since he is a minor character in this story, but he is around to be the hero to stop both Venom and Carnage. We did pick up with Pat who is right now out on parole, where we see that he is in the middle of a gunfight right now except he is dodging bullets so fast and being able to react to things in a blink of an eye. This is where we learn that the symbiote that Carnage gave birth to is starting to bond with Pat. This leads us to the next day, where we pick up with Pat and his fellow officers in a meeting trying to figure out who stole the art piece from earlier, where we know it was Black Cat, but the police do not know that because the security camera barely got a photo, except since Pat was saved by Black Cat, he recognized her in the picture. And so we see him go to the apartment of the guy who hired Black Cat to steal the art piece in the first place, where you have Pat make the guy call up Black Cat to make her come back, and where you have Pat wanting to talk to her, because he realized that he's getting faster, he's more energized, and those things don't just happen out of nowhere. And so he believes that it must be connected to Venom and Carnage. And so he is hoping Black Cat can tell him something about them, where she tells him she does not know anything at all, but that he should stay away from both Venom and Carnage. This leads to Carnage reappearing and getting ready to kill Pat. And you have Black Cat try her best to stop Carnage, which does not work, but you also have Pat try to shoot Carnage and of course, that did not work either. But with nothing working, we finally see the new symbiote take over Pat's body, where we do get the first appearance of Toxin, the son of Carnage. This leads to us seeing Toxin begin the process of beating down on Carnage. Remember, when it comes to the offspring of a symbiote, the offspring are usually stronger than their parents. And so Toxin is already stronger than Carnage, which Carnage is stronger than Venom. But you have Toxin show Carnage the door basically by throwing him out of the building. And you have Venom watching over this fight, except he did not join in. He is going to let Toxin decide what he wants to do with his new life in the world. Where we see the Toxin symbiote go back inside Pat's body, where you have Pat begin the process of freaking out, 
because all of this is new to him. He does not know what is going on. And you have Black Cat try to explain that his whole life has changed now. He is part of a whole new world where you have her tell him that he needs to get ready for anything to come because Venom and Carnage will come back and they could try anything to hurt the people close to him. And so she leads him to think about what she told him. This is where we see Pat the next day at home with his wife and some of their family members. And they're all there to celebrate the fact that there's a new baby in the family. Except this made Pat start to think about what Black Cat told him earlier about considering his family. Or how Venom and Carnage will try to come back later. And so it is really him being awkward around the family. And since his mind is all over the place with the fact that his family could be harmed because of him gaining the toxin symbiote, you do have Pat leave because he thinks it would be a good idea to go after Carnage and just end it all here and now. Where the story shifts over to Carnage, where we see him right now chilling in his apartment, which honestly surprised me that he even has an apartment in the first place. Except you have him realize that Pat is outside his window because he senses the toxin symbiote which does lead into another fight between the two characters. Now, the whole story we've been told that Toxin is actually stronger than Carnage. So meaning that Toxin should be able to defeat Carnage, which he was able to do. But the fight leads to the moment where you have Toxin actually given the chance to kill Carnage. Except since Pat is a good guy and the Toxin suit has bonded with him, Toxin does not kill Carnage and he just runs away. Where we see him go back home later on in the day, where we see him having thoughts about himself because he has a son and he is wondering that the Toxin symbiote inside of him will change him and could lead to a moment where he could hurt his son. And so he is wondering if the suit could turn him evil and end up making him kill the people he loves. Except the next day, we see Venom and Carnage both watching Pat from a far distance. Except this is the moment that they both agree to work together. Carnage does not like the idea of the toxin symbiote being out there and could come back to kill him later on. Venom thinks the toxin suit will turn good and basically make it hard for both Venom and Carnage to do anything in the world. And so they both agree to kill him together. Later on in the day, we see a bank robbery happening where these bank thugs seem like they have everything under control and they could get away with it, except you have Toxin appear. And this is Pat trying to use the Toxin symbiote more often now as a way to be a good guy, where you have him just go around beating up on all the thugs. Except the problem is that we see at the end of chapter 3 of this story, we see one of the bank robbers ask what Toxin is going to do to them. Where he says he is going to eat their brains, making it seem like that he is a bad guy now. Where we see Toxin actually use the line as a joke, that he is really in control of the symbiote. Instead, he just pushed them against the wall and arrest them. And this is a huge moment for his character because he is trying to stay in control of the symbiote. We then see Spider-Man arrive and basically just make sure that Toxin is all good. Where we see Spider-Man and Toxin form an alliance now. We then pick up with Black Cat and Pat at the funeral of the person who hired Black Cat to steal the art piece earlier. He died by the hands of Carnage back when Pat first turned into Toxin. And so you have them there to pay their respect to him, but kind of staying from a far distance. Except while they are there, this is where you have Venom and Carnage appear and now they are going to work together to kill Toxin before it becomes too strong. But before we can jump into the battle, we actually pick up with Spider-Man who is chilling at the moment after catching some thugs, where you have Spider-Man realize that his spider sense is going off, and so you have him leave the crime scene to go figure out why. 
But getting back over to Toxin fighting against Venom and Carnage, we see that even though Toxin is supposed to be stronger than both Venom and Carnage, it is still a huge challenge for Toxin to fight against both Venom and Carnage at the same time. Since Toxin is still a young symbiote and still growing. Also the fact that he is taking on both Venom and Carnage at the same time which does lead to them being able to be down on Toxin and about to kill him. Except you have Black Cat jump in and try to talk to Venom and Carnage about how wrong it is to kill their own kind, trying to convince them to take care of their child and grandchild like a normal person would do. Except it does not work and you have them want to kill her now too. But luckily you have Spider-Man appear at the right time to join in on the battle now. And so now you have Spider-Man, Black Cat, and Toxin team up to stop Venom and Carnage. This leads to us seeing Venom and Carnage try to take on Toxin, Spider-Man, and Black Cat. Where we do get a few pages of the big fight between the two sides. Except we see that Toxin has had enough with this with Venom and Carnage coming after him over and over again because he gained the new symbiote. And so for Toxin, he just wants them to stop and leave him alone. And so with his anger growing inside of him, he just gets stronger and stronger to the point he was able to defeat both Venom and Carnage. This leads to Toxin and Spider-Man having a conversation about what to do next. Like how do you manage to live a life being a hero and try to have a normal home life as well. And Spider-Man tells Toxin that it won't be easy. But he tells him that hey, you will have bad guys come after you. Not just Venom and Carnage, but people like the Green Goblin as well. And so it is Spider-Man telling Toxin that your life has now completely changed. But to close this story, we see Pat go back home to his wife where he tells her that he is leaving her and their son because he feels like that if he stays here, he is only going to put them in danger. He does not know if he can control the Toxin symbiote or that Venom and Carnage or maybe any other kind of villain could come after him and get his family killed. And so you have him just pack a bag and tells his family goodbye to live on the streets and go out in the world to be a hero. And this is where we're going to end today's video. And so guys, please leave me a like down below and also subscribe to the channel for more content to come in the near future. Also, any suggestions on books I should read? Well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know, your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But guys, I'm out of here and I will see you on the next comic book video. Later guys.